Okay, I'm putting you there. Hopefully that'll fix him. Either it's not fixed or he just really likes dancing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Good day friends, welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. I don't know if you remember this game. I made a video before, uh, like a month ago, about the demo. They still have the demo and they updated, they actually updated the demo and they added new dinosaurs. So I just wanted to make a quick video looking at um, the new dinosaurs that they added to the demo. So this game is actually in like the early, 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 early stages. Um, because they haven't even released the alpha because if you don't know first the game goes into the alpha then the beta and then the the, the full release that's usually how it goes so um, this game isn't even in the alpha yet it still has the demo and it just updated the demo so hopefully soon they will release the alpha and then the rest and it will be awesome and I really want to get the game and I hope it gets released soon but first let's have just a look at these dinosaurs they just released four new dinosaurs and I put them in their cages here I'm not very good at the controls yet and moving around. Okay, here we go. So first we have the Dryosaurus. Um, what's it called exactly? The Dryosaurus Altus. That's what it's called. And here are some different colors. You have, let's see, I think... There was one feathered version. I think this one in the front is the feathered version. Look at those eyes. <laughs> I don't know why the eyes are so crazy. It's like... I don't know. I don't know why the eyes are crazy. And then you have two, uh, I guess, non-feathered, scaly is what they're called, I think, versions. And then I also put a little baby to see what it looks like when it's a little baby. Um, also, if you haven't noticed in this game, um, because it's so scientifically accurate, they actually have different versions for the male and the female um, because sometimes with dinosaurs or all animals the male and the females they are uh, look different they are one is bigger than the other or more colorful so um, for this video I just put um, the ones that were the most colorful and the biggest that's what I did so if the if that was the female then I put the female if that was the male then I put that one okay so that's the one that they added the dryosaurus then another one they added is here oh god I'm so bad at moving around uh, let's see oh yeah the allosaurus the allosaurus fragilis um they're not standing nice in line because i had to constantly uh press play and pause and play and pause so some of them have moved around a little bit so here uh let's see is this feathered i can't even see i think it's not feathered i'm not really sure um but they look really cool this is the scaly version yes yeah, so the other ones they are uh feathered this one is the scaly version it's just gray but still really cool then here you have the feathered i don't actually remember and i'm not never going to remember the names of the colors exactly i don't see why i would remember them but these are the colors that exist this is one type of color or skin i guess and then this one look at how bright the orange is and the red at the eye is so so bright and of course I also put a little baby I also put a little baby it is so cute um, did I put another one I'm not sure it might have walked further away nope okay and then here we have the Camarasaurus if I'm not mistaken the Camarasaurus Grandis Grandis that's what it's called the Camarasaurus Grandis look at this one with the red head that one is really cool then this one it has i think this is my favorite skin i'm not really sure yeah this one with the stripes i think this is my favorite one these are really big and just just so i don't know they look so strong so strong i guess because usually when you have these sauropods they feel you know when you see them from the distance they look kind of thin and this, this one looks a lot bulkier i guess just just more strong than like the brachiosaurus and stuff like that um, and of course I put a little baby again. Why would I not put a little baby? Little, little baby. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get stepped on. Uh, and then the last dinosaur that they also added is the Stegosaurus. Check it out. And one thing that kept happening, as you can see here, is I kept getting, um... I kept getting albinos. I didn't know that was possible. I I'm, at first I thought it was a glitch that it just didn't have a skin. Then I saw that the eyes were actually red, and you know white with the red eyes. That's uh, albino. So I guess 
this is an albino stegosaurus and also a male a female and a male because when i put these first and i put males and females i think of every color i'm not really sure but as you can see there's more of them so um but for this one for the stego the males actually have much brighter colors um and they are a lot bigger actually like this this one is like a female actually i can just show you directly this one if you go to female what look at the difference in color and size for the female so um yeah there is actually quite a lot of a difference i think there's a few other games uh maybe the isle and i think uh arc does it too i'm not really sure but this game is a lot more scientifically accurate they really try to copy it like if the dinosaurs look uglier but more real then they will do that they don't they don't um uh, like uh you know i love jurassic park but for instance uh the velociraptors uh, as we all know are very bad and uh, not real um because they just look cool and here they don't have to look cool they just have to look real but they of course there's no way to know what the colors were in a lot of cases it's very hard to know what the colors were for the dinosaurs so they just sort of make up their own colors and they they put some really cool colors look at this stego it's insane um and this one i think is glitched i don't know what's going on here it's the demo after all i guess okay I'm putting you there is that okay for you and i'm putting you just a few inches away. Hopefully that'll fix him. Oh, okay, he didn't get fixed. He's either it's not fixed or he just really likes dancing. I'm not really sure. What? Did you hear that? Hey, don't walk through the wall, okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, and they added some more things like walls and paths. But of course, I'm not that interested in that yet. Because I'm just not able yet to build a big park. Look at... <laughs> that sound is crazy. Okay, I'm going to go away a little bit so I don't hear that sound. Uh, but yeah, I think I really want to play this game when it comes out. I think I really want to play it. Maybe make a series out of it. Make a really big Jurassic Park kind of thing. I think that would be really awesome, but I don't know if the demo is good enough to actually, like, spend real time on it and... Wait, are they not even moving? Okay, the gl glitches are abundant. Why are you not moving? I don't understand. <laughs> that sound sounds, sounds like a chicken or something. <laughs> move. You, move. Is that... set them free? Maybe they just really like standing still. I don't know. I think I think the AI is not as good. But I think they said that. When they were releasing this update, they said um, in the demo the AI isn't as good as we want it to be yet. So they will hopefully fix this eventually. Uh, but I think I might buy this game when it comes out. Or pre-order it now. I'm not really sure yet. <gasps> this one is lying down. Is it? <gasps> oh, that is so cool. Check it out. It is lying down. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Wait, let me go. Oh, no, it just moved. Oh, no, I need a cool... Oh, that looks cool. I need a new thumbnail. I need a thumbnail picture. This would look cool, I think. Would this look cool for a thumbnail? I think it would. Why are you, why are you all broken? You, you are all broken. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You cannot really play the game yet because you cannot get customers yet. And that's sort of how all of these games, whether it's this one or Roller Coaster Tycoon, any kind of like park tycoon, any version, it's all about getting the customer so you can make money, so you can build more, right? So and in this in, in this demo, you cannot yet get the customers. You can see them down here. But you cannot get them yet, so you cannot make money yet. And it's sort of part of the fun, right? So I really hope they release the... I don't know, I don't think... I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play the alpha unless if I pre-order it. So I'm really thinking about doing that. But on the last video that I made, some people left some comments saying that they had some bad idea Or some bad... Um, how do I say it? Best thoughts about the game that they didn't think it was going to be very good. Okay, I cannot find the comment anymore. Maybe they removed it. But someone, uh, at least there was at least one person when I made the last video who said that they thought the game wasn't as promising as it looked. Or 
I don't know, because there's been a lot of delay on the creation of the game. Anyway, uh, I really think it would be really cool. The, the reason for me why this game stands out is because of the because of the science, basically. Because they make the dinosaurs look and everything so as scientifically accurate as they can uh, within the limits of a game. Whereas there are a lot of new park building games. There will also be a Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom game coming out. Or I don't know if it's out yet. But I don't actually know. Oh, that one is lying down. I want to see that. It's in the wall. But still. Oh, that looks so cool. I wish it would be doing that. Can I move it now? When it's lying down? Oh, <gasps> I can. Lie down there. No, no, don't stand up. I want to make, <laughs> want to make a thumbnail of you lying down. Oh, that's so cool though. The way it slowly gets up. Because of how big it is. Okay, what was I saying? Yes, there's several games. I don't know if the new Jurassic World game that's coming out will be like this park building or if it will be adventure or if it will be more like that iPad game uh, that they made for the other Jurassic World. Like the, the last Jurassic World had an official game, but it was a very simple um, kind of game, very similar to the Jurassic Park game that I played on Facebook once. Um, which doesn't allow you as much freedom of creativity because that's also what I really want if I'm going to make a real series about a game where I can build a Jurassic uh, Park basically I want a lot of cre uh, uh, freedom for my creativity oh this one's lying again this one is lying again let me get a nice let me get a nice screenshot I'm not sure once again once again, I'm not sure if I will make another video of the demo. Just like I said last time, I'm not sure. I don't think they will ever make another update again to the demo. I think the next step is that they will release... Oh man, it's lying down. Why? I don't know why I'm obsessed with dinosaurs lying down. It looks so cool. I don't know why I think it looks so cool. Look at this. Oh man, I need to get the car again. Or go first person and walk around. I forgot how you did that. I think you have to build a car thing. Okay, and the baby is either <laughs> sleeping or it's dead. Okay, I have to check on the baby. How can I see? How can I? Okay, I can select this one. How do I select the baby? <gasps> uh oh. Wait, can, if I not cannot select the baby, then do you think that means it's dead? Oh god, I cannot select it anymore. I think the baby already died. I think that's how bad I am at this game. Because I, oh, I didn't put like a feeder kind of thing. I didn't put a feeder, so I actually managed to let it die. I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry, you guys. I will put feeders. Okay, don't worry. I'm just going to end the video here. Do you think that I should try... Whoa. And it was dark. Okay, do you guys think it's worth playing the demo some more? Do you think it's worth for me to play... To try to build something cool in a demo? Or should I wait for the full game? Or at least the alpha to be released? What do you guys think? And do you think it's worth buying the game? Or should I just play... Uh, let's see, what was the other one called? Me Mesozoica? I don't know anything about that one. I just heard it was also released. But this game just really captured my attention. So I really haven't looked at Meso Mesozoica yet. Uh, but that might be really cool to play as well. So just tell me uh, what you think. And apart from that, I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. <laughs>